Now, as promised, time for Entertainment 24 with Tasman Lucia Khan. Hello. News of a rather delectable man. Yes, well, it depends if you're a Bond fan, are you? Oh, absolutely. A, a Daniel Craig fan. Yeah, there's definitely. little blue shorts. What a sight. <laughs> All behave. <laughs> Good evening. The name is Solace, the Quantum of Solace, and it will be released on October 31st. Sony Pictures today announced the date of when the 22nd Bond film is coming out, and there's only 226 days to go. The BBC's Emma Jones also got an exclusive peek at some of the footage from the film. When Casino Royale was the most successful Bond film ever, even news of news of the next one is of interest. As these exclusive pictures released by the film company show, the Bond theme of exotic filming locations continues, including the middle of the Californian desert, so remote that three helicopter trips had to be made every time equipment and crew needed to be moved, while space cameras were fitted to film the stunts. Then it's on to Panama City and the first footage of British Bond girl Gemma Arterton who plays Agent Fields. It was great working on the streets of Panama because you get a sense of what the real Panama City is like. It's got so much like life and, and character to them. It's really brilliant locations. Surrounded by the colour of local life, the crew have transformed an old ruin, once a club for aristocrats, into a key party scene. The viewers also meet the other Bond girl, Olga Kurilenko, although 007 seems to have forgotten his DJ on this occasion. Filming on the production continues in locations in Chile and Europe before the end of the year release date. While filmmakers are happy to show some of Daniel Craig's stunts, the plot is another matter. And none of these pictures give any clue yet as to what quantum of solace actually means. Emma Jones, BBC News. Emma Jones there with a report on the new Bond film. He's a hunk, isn't he? You're watching Entertainment 24 from BBC News. Well, what a week it's been for Heather Mills. She's bagged £24 million, thrown water over a lawyer and been called less than candid by a High Court judge. Well, now Heather's going to be a judge herself. It's been reported that Macca's ex will be on the panel choosing the next Miss USA. And she'll be joined by Donnie and Marie Osmond. We're most excited to see what she'll be wearing, though, after her interview intriguing fashion choices at the High Court. Prince Philip is following Sarah Ferguson onto ITV1 this summer. The channels followed the Queen's husband for a year and even given him his own camera to film some footage. Coldplay are going all Latino on us. The band have announced that their fourth album is going to be called Viva La Vida, which means long live life in Spanish. Lead singer Chris Martin says he doesn't mind everyone thinking it's a Ricky Martin song title, but then again, he did name his children Apple and Moses. And Halle Berry has chosen her baby's name. Her daughters to be called Nala Ariella Obrey. The actress's firstborn was, on, uh, was born on Sunday. Now, if you were the only person who didn't get to see Take That on their beautiful world tour, then you can stop fretting right now. It's not quite the same, but the band's songs have inspired a musical that opens in Brighton tonight. Never Forget follows the story of a Take That tribute band, and Claudia Sabemzi's went to meet them. Back in 1990, five Manchester lads formed a new group, Take That. Phenomenally successful, they sold more than 100 million records and dominated the UK charts. And now their greatest hits have been turned into a musical. It's a group of misfits that get together and they see an advert, all of them individually, for a, a, a Taylor tribute band. So they all go for the audition and we're the lucky ones that get into the band. Uh, we're not very good at the beginning, but the show really is about our journey and seeing how we progress and how we improve. And then by the end, we do the actual concert and hopefully, we're pretty damn hot. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. All right. Thanks for your time. Hey, not so fast, lad. I need one for the teeny boppers. Mr. Mark Owen, you are in. <laughs> the songs are great. I mean, all, all that we've got. All the songs from 92 to 96 in there, all, you know, the back catalogue. Um, there's about seven number ones, I think, that are in the show. So it's, you know, you've got your back for good, it's going to be magic, babe. You've got all of them in there.
But has there been any word from the real Take That? And we've had family members in, you know, we've seen um, Robbie's mum in Stoke and uh, Jason's dad in Manchester, and they loved it. So mm. hopefully the boys will come and see it in London. Take That, obviously, are our, um, our number one boy band of, well, certainly the modern generation. So to, to do that, you know, to put a new musical on with the songs of Take That is, is a huge thrill for all of us. So, I mean, I think we just have a great time. I mean, it's, it's obviously a very exciting time, and we're going to the West End with it as well. So it's brilliant. Take That reformed as a four-man band two years ago, but this show celebrates their 90s heyday, hoping their fans will never forget. And for more entertainment news, just check out the BBC News website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash entertainment news. I'll be back at 9.30. Join me then. Back to you, Rachel. Tasman, thanks so much. We'll see you a little bit later on. Now, let's catch up with all the business news. Mariam's here. Rachel, thank you very much indeed. A look now at the business headlines this evening and an investigation by the FSA 